In this video, I will show you how to make montages in Final Cut Pro. Now, as you've seen, I've made some pretty amazing montages with Final Cut Pro. Some going up to 100 views. So, if you watch this entire series, it will help you make your own montages and get views too. So, here we go. Final Cut Pro is an amazing software. It has many options including titles, which if you look at my mouse button on the top left corner, then you click on the titles button, which you can see me click right there. It gives you a huge amount of elements slash titles. Now you could pick between a 3D title. So a 3D title would look like this. 3D cinematic, which if you click down here, will show you a more cinematic view. 360 would show you a rotating 3D. Build in and out is just regular types of text. And it's the same thing with all of these. And one thing I think is great if you're trying to make something like a movie is it gives you trailer options. It gives you bulletin board options, comic book options. It gives you many options. Elements, you could have an instant replay, speech bubbles, stamps, cards. It's amazing for everything. And some of the things you see today won't be inside of yours. Like, for example, if you won't see this Lucas Erkston smooth transitions, which I will talk more about in my next video inside the series. You'll also not see this SM screen pump. So in this video, I'll show you the, how to go around this program. So first of all, you get the library. You start off with your own library. It should be called something like Final Cut Pro. But to create a new library, you click on File, New, Library. To get there, if you want to do it slower, go up there, click on File, which you can see, and click on New, Library. Now, once you've got there, you could find out where you want to put your library. For example, I want to put it in this flash drive, so I can name it and put it there. For this video, I've already got one, so I won't do that. But that's the first thing you want to do when you download Final Cut Pro. Also, when you download Final Cut Pro, you should get the free trial first to test it out. Do not get the f f full version of it, as you may not know if you like the software. There's many other softwares, but I found Final Cut Pro the best one for my needs. Then, there's a new event. Events are where you can put all your clips in. So I'm going to call this teaching my event. This is where you'll put all your clips in for your project. Now, when you do that, you may have seen that when I did it, you could put create a new project or don't create a new project. I chose to create a new project. Also, you could mess around with all these things, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. Also, if you want it to be like 4K, 360, anything else, you could change it here. Then, now that you have your, um, now that you have your event, you could put your clips in it. For this video, I'll use these clips. To put them in on a Mac, you could command click on every single one of them. I'm only going to do four and one logo. These clips are Sabers, a popular YouTuber. I'll link him inside the description. You could drag them across the screen and into the into your event. Also, if you choose not to create a, a new project, you could click on project here. Then you could customize it by putting whatever name you want it to be and you could put your own custom settings. You could also, if you if you're a limited to space on your computer, you could change your rendering. But I'm not gonna mess around with that. And also, and yeah, that's basically it for the overview. Now I'll just show you the simple how to drag and drop the clips in. To drag your clips in, you take it, hold it, and then drag drag it to the bottom. Once you drag it to the bottom, it will give you many options, such as what format you want to be in. I wouldn't mess around, but once again, if you want to be a different format, like 720p, or rendering different, you could change that, or the frame rate. 
they also give easy ways to change the audio. So if you want no audio, you could go all the way down here. That's basically that. And now for the clips, you you may have been wondering what this side panel is where you see my mouse. This side panel is where all the where all of the settings are for your clip. So let's say you want to rotate your clip. It rotates with it. Or let's say you want to scale it. You can scale it. Scale X if you want to make it stretched or scale Y. Let's drag that in again because you don't really want to mess with those settings until you're pretty comfortable. Now on the bottom bar, this is where you'll be doing most of your work. See this button? It's the effect browser. Click on it and it will show you all the amazing effects you could use with Final Cut Pro. For me, I have LUTs. LUTs is something that you could get for free. You could type in on YouTube, free LUTs, and you'll get them. LUTs are pretty cool because they give you color correction. So as you see now, the color isn't that amazing on the screen. But once I put in the LUT and go to the um, side bulb here, where you can see it, a custom LUT popped up. Here you can change your LUT to whatever you want. And now it looks darker. They also give many other effects but i'll show that in a future video there is also a transitions browser right next to your effects browser in this browser it gives you many different transitions for example when you drag in two clips right next to each other you could put in your own transition so you could pick between uh, 360, blur, dissolves, lights, movements, objects, replicators, stylized wipes. You could pick between all those. But what I use is Lucas Erkstein's Smooth Transitions. You could get those for free on YouTube. I will show you more about transitions in a future video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later in my next video on how to use Final Cut Pro. Bye.